welcome to my channel this is Suzy Q and we are talking again experiencing God through prayer chapter 6 the road to perfection I now want you to begin to learn how to abandon yourself your entire existence to God every moment of every day you must come to realize that you are in God's immediate will Knowing and understanding this conviction of abandonment will cause you to regard everything that comes to your way as being from the hand of God. Dearly beloved, once you have given yourself to God, do not take yourself back again. Remember, a gift once presented is no longer at the disposal of the giver. Do not go back to sin. That's basically what it's saying. Once you've given your heart to God, stay with the Lord. Abandonment is a matter of great importance in our progress. It is the key to the inner court. He who knows how to abandon himself to God is on his way to perfection. Therefore, don't listen to other confusing voices of nature, of natural reason. Remain steadfast. Great faith produces great abandonment. Don't listen to that voice that's telling you you need to do this and you need to do that when the Lord is saying, I need you to come close to me. I need you to talk to me. I need you to hear me. Be like Abram who against hope believed in hope. Abandonment means casting all selfish cares in order to be altogether at his disposal. Each of us is exhorted to abandonment. Take therefore no thoughts for the morrow, for your heavenly Father knows that you have need for things today. Don't think about tomorrow, later, next year. Think about now. God is not thinking about the future. You have to focus on today. And Proverbs 3 verse 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thought shall be established. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. That's what abandonment means. Committing yourself to the Lord. Committing yourself to God. Giving him your time. We give our time to everything else, but when it comes to God, we give him just a minute of our time. God doesn't like that. He wants us to commit more to him you must give up both the external and the internal things all of your concerns must be placed into the hands of God forget yourself think only of him in doing so your heart will remain free and peace forget about everything else forget about your problems forget about your your just your things that are not important focus on God and he will direct you in what way you should go. It is essential to continually submit your will to God's will and renounce every private inclination as soon as it arises. Rebuke everything that arises that is not of God. No matter how good it appears, not all that glitter is gold. You must only want what God has will from all eternity. Forget the past. Devote the present to God. Be satisfied with the present moment, which brings God's eternal order to you. Attribute nothing that happens to you as coming from a man, but regard everything except sin coming from God. Every good gift that God gives is from Him. Everything that is bad is from the devil himself. Remember that. God loves you. He will never give you anything bad. And sometimes we go and we get these things and we put ourselves in situations that we shouldn't be. Surrender yourself to be led and disposed of God. Please, please, please God in respect. Give him all your time. So you got to dispose yourself of things that are not of God. You have to pray and ask God, Lord, is this of you? Father God, forgive me of my sins. Abandon yourself. Throw away all these things that are not of God. 
Get out from among them, the Bible says, and be ye separated. Touch not the unclean things. All right, guys. And at this moment, I will end this session and I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed, wonderful, wonderful day. Susie Q, out.